With the latest on how U.S. President Donald Trump is doing after contracting COVID-19, late on Thursday evening, he announced he had tested positive for COVID-19. He is now undergoing treatment at the Walter Reed Military Hospital. Donald Trump has tweeted a video message from his hospital room. In that video, the President of the United States says that he is feeling well, though the next few days will be the real test. I want to begin by thanking all of the incredible medical professionals, the doctors, the nurses, everybody at Walter Reed Medical Center. I think it's the finest in the world for the incredible job they've been doing. Uh, I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. We've done an awfully good job of that. But we still have steps to go and we have to finish that job. And I'll be back. I think I'll be back soon. I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. So we'll be seeing what happens over those next, co next couple of days. Now let's talk about the contradictory messaging around Donald Trump's health condition. Right. One of Trump's doctors, Sean Dooley, said that the president was not on any kind of support system and that he was in exceptionally good spirits, quote-unquote, and that he was fever-free for the last 24 hours. Take a listen in. He's in exceptionally good spirits. And in fact, uh, as we were completing our multidisciplinary rounds this morning, uh, the quote he, he left us with was, I feel like I could walk out of here today. And, and that was a very encouraging comment from the president. But despite an assurance from the White House staff, multiple reports in American media indicated that U.S. President Donald Trump was given oxygen support at the White House on Friday. These reports started doing the rounds merely hours after White House physician Sean Conley said that the president was not on any kind of support system. Right now, he is not on oxygen. I understand. Oxygen. You, I know you keep saying right, right now, but should we read into the fact that he had been previously? Yesterday and today, he was not on oxygen. So he has not been on it during this his COVID treatment? He's, he's not on oxygen right now. <laughs> the White House physician said that he was extremely happy with the president's progress and that what? Trump's mild symptoms were resolving and improving. But sources have informed agencies that the president's vitals over the last 24 hours were very concerning and the next 48 hours will be critical in terms of his care. And there is still no clear path to a full recovery. Now, such conflicting assessments have created an air of ambiguity over the health of the American president. The White House, meanwhile, has released images of U.S. President Donald Trump seated and working from the Falter Reed Hospital Remember, the timing of these developments is extremely significant, coming just a month before the U.S. presidential election. Trump's Democratic challenger, Joe Biden, has said that he does not want to attack the U.S. president after he contracted the COVID-19 infection. Here's what he said. I don't want to be uh, attacking the president and the first lady uh, now because uh, they're, uh, they're now the, uh, have contracted coronavirus. And Jill and I pray for their quick and full recovery. Jonathan Lemire, a politics reporter at Associated Press, breaks down why this contradictory messaging surrounding Donald Trump's health condition raises a lot of concerns. White House doctors provided a briefing to reporters this morning uh, and suggested that the president, in their characterization, was in good spirits, uh, was no longer running a fever, uh, and was not currently. Staff indeed said that it was very concerning how the president uh, was doing, particularly Friday morning. That's the period where I think there was the most sense of alarm among officials. Uh, the, the 
which contradicts somewhat uh, some of the other public comments they've made, where they've really stressed the fact that the president is is still working and, and that he is you know feeling okay. And certainly he is still in charge. They have, they've made it clear the government is functioning. They have not reassigned his responsibilities to the vice president, Mike Pence. Uh, that has not happened yet. We have no idea if it ever will. That will be a decision based on how he is doing. But this this is certainly diagnosis. Uh, landed like with a with a rather loud thud here in this White House, and it's an extraordinary moment. Let's now tell you a little bit more about the hospital where Donald Trump is undergoing treatment for COVID-19. The Walter Reed Medical Center in Maryland is the hospital of choice for U.S. presidents. The American media often calls it the President's Hospital. Sprawling over more than 200 acres, Walter Reed is an integral part of presidential history. What makes this hospital equipped to treat the world's most powerful leader? The first thing to know is that Walter Reed is a military hospital. It treats members of America's armed forces and veterans. The president, being the commander-in-chief, is entitled to treatment here. In addition, Walter Reed also serves top government officials and Supreme Court justices. The center is just a 30-minute drive from the White House. It is located on a campus that covers 243 acres. More than 7,000 personnel work here in various capacities. There are 100 clinics on campus and 5,500 rooms for patients. In short, Walter Reed is among the best medical centers in the world. There are some facilities here that are exclusive to the president. An autonomous ward in the complex known as Ward 71. It houses a six-room presidential suite. The suite includes its own intensive care unit, a living and dining room, several bedrooms, multiple offices, and a secure conference room. The first lady also has her own quarters. So does the White House chief of staff. The president's personal physician has a sleeping quarters near the presidential suite as they must remain on call at all times. The autonomous ward is located on the south side of Walter Reed. It is equipped with state-of-the-art security measures. Even the hospital administrators are not given unrestricted access to this ward. Let's also tell you a bit about the president's medical team. In addition to a personal physician, a pre-screened list of surgeons and specialists are on call. Reports indicate that at least 20 experts are currently part of President Trump's medical team. They are led by the White House physician, Sean Conley. Now, this, of course, is a special situation. So outside experts have also been robed in. Normally, though, the president's health is the duty of the White House medical unit, which again is led by the physician to the president, who is chosen by the commander-in-chief himself. Typically, there are 20 members in this unit. Some of them are active duty military doctors.